boxes, and all your equipment is upgraded. Awesome! Oh, so you're extremely cursed. Your new rules are you start with two upgraded battle axes for equipment. Everything you find is upgraded as such, but you're inflicted with curse at the start of every turn. Oh. Let's give a thunderous round of applause for the warrior once more. After all, he used to have thunder, and he's never going to hear it again. Yeah, it's you're in a dungeon. So, new set of enemies. We have a wolf puppy. Who is strong against poison. Not that we really mind. So, we hold on to combat roll because that's our warrior ability. We're going to fight against this wolf pup who can bite me before. Or repeat his that's action. So, 8 damage at most. And we are with Cursed. This is a very wicked status effect that you can see right here. All equipment has a 50% chance to fail. Meaning if I use anything... It should be cursed and disappear for the turn. It wastes the die as well that's put onto it. it. But since I'm only cursed once though, that means I can at least use my other battle axe. But it always has a 50% chance of working on any equipment that I use. Meaning I'm going to actually have to strategize my turns out. And making sure I can try to burn that curse. So for instance, I could have lethal here. But because of my curse, I wouldn't be able to actually use that three. It gods on the warrior and can just reroll my dice though. So I will get Toxic Ooze Plus. Great. Well, all the equipment's upgraded actually, so that doesn't matter too much. So remember, everybody, these battle axes are upgraded. I can put a maximum of four inside of them, but they deal two times whatever that damage, so that I could deal six. I will just deal six with Toxic Ooze instead and apply three poison. This gardener can deal six damage to me and apply a weaken to one of my equipment. Not the worst thing ever, considering I have enough. So, I can just reroll you, for instance, or see if the curse took effect, which it didn't that time. So, I did away with that combat for free, and I get another dice to work with. So, I can actually use all three of my equipment pieces. Most Mellow, our new enemy for this run. You have two die, and you can either use Snowball or Fireball to freeze a die, or burn a die in odd or even. Interesting abilities for you, sir. Let us use Tatsit Ooze first. None of my curses triggered. And actually, I shouldn't have rerolled that because I can't actually use that. Oops! Oh well. We're gonna freeze a die, which honestly doesn't matter for me playing Warrior. Actually, it does because that freeze always triggers on your highest value die, so that sits. Now, can't trigger Tatsit Ooze, sadly. And the curse does not want to go off up until that point. Interesting, but we got through it. Alright. Curse me? Cursed. Six damage. Perfect. But you can see, I can already play around that curse just a little bit at the very least. Let's fight the baby squid so we can get to the shop. Let's see what else I possibly roll here. Ooh, double sits is up. That is really unfortunate. I should have been using my Fury too, honestly. So he's going to blind one of my die. So you can see here, blind is... That uh, means I cannot see the dice value. So even if I re-roll this dice, I won't be able to see it. But I can try to whittle it down. So I know at least it was a 4 or less. But fact is, I was still cursed, so it doesn't matter too much at the end. I'll go ahead and hit you twice with this baby squid, so you can bleed out to the poison. And not a bad combat, all things considered. So I can get a boomerang for double damage, or three to myself. Or even shield myself up, possibly, with spike shield. I still like rushing down, and it does help me get fury, so I'll take boomerang still. And bump is actually pretty nice in itself as well. I can add 4 to my shield with a buckler, or it can have a dagger potentially. The buckler only costs 1 gold. Let's check my equipment. 2 battle axes is kind of ridiculously stupidly funny, but I don't think I need it. I could also replace Toxic Ooze to make up for the boomerang damage, and honestly, I might do that. Let's put dagger out. Let's actually go for full small equipment. Put Dadger and Butler in. I don't care about Tatsit Ooze. That way, I have ways to make use of Bump Plus if I get Sitsis. And then I can just put all of that into Dadger, quite frankly. You are weak to shot Stereo Head, but I don't think we care. 
So let us see what we can do. That's a sit. That's fantastic to see already. Can I get rid of the curse? Curse is gone, meaning I can bump for free. So I can get two extra dice, which is wonderful. I can add four to my shield. 12 damage to the stereo head without even hurting myself. And then dagger you twice over. What a amazing turn. Oh, he is gonna weaken me twice, so this is gonna hurt my equipment. You'll go from pluses on everything since they're upgraded to full minuses. Battle axe went off. That's not the best thing for us, quite frankly. Hmm. Dagger went off, but actually I killed you, so don't need to worry don't even need to worry about bump conundrum. So oh, good. I'm looking at Copycat Pirate Sorceress. Nope, gotta fight the pirate first anyway. No, the pirate! Two dice. And he can either use Pirate Hook, maximum of five, but if he gets a four to deal damage with, he can use that equipment again, or Cannon Fire to deal six fire damage to me, and burn a dice. Don't mind me, I'm just taking a sip of my water real quick. Alright, so let's, let's puzzle this out real quick. Are you winning? So far, already won one run. Put the three in here, hope for the curse. Curse went off, that's great. That means I can use my bumps. Six damage. I don't mind taking three, because that's such a minor thing, honestly, here. It does get the pirate hook off, meaning I'm taking seven, which does suck. That's alright, because I can just destroy you. Even if one curse goes off, my other battle axe does the trick. We're not bad at all. Alright, so we're about to face off against a copycat. Deal 3 damage. Deal 3 times 5. I'd love to sub that for a battle axe, but quite frankly, that is scary against the copycat, and I'll show you why in just a second. I don't want to put that on me immediately yet. It's copycat copies my equipment so everything that i use minus the combat roll he gets to use so can i burst you down in one turn potentially that's what i'm hoping for curse went off that's wonderful to see now i can just re-roll these and see how i roll quite literally hit hit fury i'm just going to destroy you before you ever get to attack me and we are good chief I receive another die. I think I'm going to replace a battle axe with a crystal sword for that immediate damage. And I can even copy something, which... Ooh, in that case then, I'll copy a crystal sword for so much one-shot potential. Two crystal swords? That is so ridiculously stupid. Roll two sitzes with midnight charm, or add to shield, which is reusable. Don't need either, quite frankly, so just let me fight the sorcerers. If you're any crunch, you know I'm chewing on a mint, by the way. I'm sorry about that. Reroll these die. See how good everything goes. So the bump did get eaten by the curse, but it's alright. What I'll instead do for now is. This boomerang and then hit with the daggers for now. Cause she shots two of my uh, uh, so what the sorceress just did is that her orchard shots shots two of my equipment, meaning I have to waste a die to actually unlock the equipment itself and be able to use the equipment. Which, of, which is, of course, unfortunate, but it's no big deal in case I can, uh, as I can just like neuter instead. Or, you can see here, I can still spend just fine without a problem. But since I have two crystal swords, you're still dying pretty fast. Hashtag this fight was dumb, whatever drama, who cares? Yeah! That, I feel like that's with the time considering this game was developed in 2019. Alright.
If I fight the Yeti, I can get access to the chest, the health, and the trade shop. So let's go ahead and do that first before we fight anything else. You are weak to fire, but still nothing in my deck does fire. Bump gets wasted. Hurts, but it's whatever. I'm going to Fury twice on this, because I'll naturally get some more bats from the boomerang hitting me. And then my crystal swords will just do all the work. Wow! I am just kind of cruising through some of these fights here, huh? The chest is hammer. Do X amount of damage, but on six and put the shock. Interesting, but I don't think I need it. Trade a bump for a weaken? No. I think it could be fine to have hammer instead of my shield, considering how fast these combats are going on my end. And it helps me spend extra stitches in case I need to. I already have a five, so hold on to that. Don't need a three, don't need a one. Still don't need a one. Dagger didn't get used, that sucks. There we go. So, 15. Sits. Not bad. The Rhino Beetle is going to battle at me. It hurts, and I need to kill him this turn, on honestly, before he locks my dice. So. Daggers. Got rid of it. Now, I can just get rid of you. And no problemo. So Crystalina, to get my level up, I'm fighting her at 20 HP, which is a little scary, but I still think I got this. That is sort of curse. Wonderful, because now I can spend upwards on my dive to reroll. So these go to Crystal Sword immediately. I get to inflict shock on you. And then if I can get a sit, which I did not, unfortunately. But I'll just save my limit break, because I think I'll be fine on this end. Shot doesn't too much do too much against you, I'll be honest here, Chief, but that was still a good idea. Five damage and weaken me? Well, I'm leveling up after this, so honestly, it didn't work for you. Sorry, Tristolina. Now die! Nice! Leveled up. I can roll two sitzes, I can bash with the shield, I can take pirate hood. Honestly, all of these suck. I might as well just hold midnight charm just in the case I might need it. I can copy another piece of equipment. Could be really funny. I'd have to fight a banshee though. I'd have to fight two enemies to get to it. But the shop could also have some food, so I'll fight towards it. Aurora. So I have a sits already. I'm trying to burn through the curse. That was actually horrible thinking about it now. Because I burned my sits when I honestly didn't need to. All good though. She's gonna shot me three times, which sucks. That actually is so unfortunate for me. And with how high of all my stuff is too. Unfortunate. Well, that means I can at least bump my other stuff up. Roll these dice. Hit. That guarantees I will either come back with 25 HP. Not the best fight by any one shot, but I can copy something. Honestly. <laughs> copy another crystal sword. Only have three crystal swords, dude. This is gonna be so stupid. Gotta fight the Banshee Nets so I can get to the shop and maybe get two health pickups. You have four dice. You can curse, silence, and freeze me. Oh, those are wicked nasty effects, and I don't like that at all. So hopefully... Yeah, the curse went through, which is wonderful. Because now I can fury. And one turn you before you get to do anything. Great! All these crystal swords, baby! They're so good! Get me some health. I can buy another piece of equipment? Oh no, chief. <laughs> I 
I have literally, if I get rid of Curse, I already have 15, 30, 45, 860 damage nuke. Wait, I didn't swap it in. Oops. Oh well, I just swapped Boomerang and Dagger. Okay, it's fine. Curse is gone. That is wonderful. One, two, three. I didn't even need the boomerang. That's how ridiculous so stupid this is. Oh, goodness. Where's my crystal sword? Put the crystal sword in here, please. I took no damage against that wolf. I didn't even check his stats. Oh, well, skeleton. How are you doing today? That's a five. I should need something low so I can roll through. Oh, well, it's okay. 15, 15, 12. Curse went off, but you are about to die, my friend. I don't care if you deal 11 damage to me. I'm leveling up on you anyway. What a stupid, stupid run this is shaping up to be. I say shaping up. It already is. Instead, every adventure is a skeleton just waiting to get out. Spooky, but also stupid. Another dice. What do I get here? What dice that roll this XYZ? Two uses per turn. Could be really nice considering, but I can't put it in considering that would kill all of my attacking options after my crystal swords and my dagger. And I'm gonna fight Madison the Girl Scout. Alrighty, Chief. Our right, episode 2 boss. What? You're not even gonna buy any cookies? That's super rude. Madison has 5 die. With 70 HP, meaning I could realistically one shot you. She can burn a dice, which goes up every time she uses it. She has her own pocket knife, like my dagger, to deal damage. And she can repeat her next action every time. So she can slowly whittle you down through just forcing you to keep using your die and then just keep hurting you. The dagger went away. Oh, baby, that's so perfect. Fury! 15! 30! 45! Oh, I'm literally one damage off lethal! Oh, what an amazing boss it would have been if I could have destroyed you in one turn! I was one die off. Oh well, fast is I don't care if I'm getting burned by these. I'll take the burns, because it's funny. And then I just need to hit you with a dagger. Goodbye! Steam achievement complete. Curse of Greed. Not bad. Oh, look. You won yet another episode. Congratulations. Do I get to win that brand new car? No, I do not. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. That is hilarious how fast that just went downhill for the entire enemy's team. Because I just got a million crystal swords. So I could just burst them all in one turn. Now, any time you complete an achievement in the game, or what they know as challenges, you can want a little compendium on enemies. So you can see I got the Marshmallow Compendium, for instance. Already entered the dungeon, good sit pay, and a company campfire. Smile. That's really cute. Alright. Well, let's keep trudging along with it. Let's do Warrior Episode 3. You seem pretty tough. Do you need all that health? Nah, you'll be fine without it. Start with a Venus Fly Trap, but lose 2 max HP whenever you level up. 